Shalom, ladies and gentlemen, Israel, of course. All praises to the Most High, Yah only. Uh, let, let's get this out of the way of just now so we don't got to go through it again. If you're new to this channel, I'm just starting this channel. Uh, originally, I've been on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Now I'm just taking it a whole other direction because there's a lot of misdirection going on. So what we're going to get over first is this channel, I'm not subscribing to no Messiahs, no JC, no Yahweh Shai, none of that. All that Superman garbage thrown out the window. We, I ain't dealing with it over here. And um, basically, this is what this channel is going to be about. Um, you're going to catch me on videos talking, or you're going to catch me posting videos of just, you know what I mean, just straight animations, or, you know what I'm saying, trying to link up. Torah and the Old Testament towards like life happening now. Um, so I went over that part. Basically, no, no idols, no, you know, what I'm saying all that is out the window. Everything is Yah only, Torah only. And the reason for that is um, we've all been misled to believe the Bible is two books. The Bible is not two books. The Bible is three books. Um, the Torah alone, let's bring it up here, is only five books within the Old Testament. So you got Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. All that is one book. Then the second book, it would be, quote unquote, the Tanakh, would be uh, from Joshua to Malachi. That's the second book. That's the book of the prophets. Then you have the third book, which is the New Testament. We don't want to subscribe to that. Later on down the road, if you're on my channel, I will, um, I will explain that. Why I don't um, subscribe to the New Testament and why it's false. But um, first and foremost, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. That's the law. This, that book alone, the Torah, is the only book the Most High ever wanted us to return to or even follow. The rest of the Old Testament, from Joshua to Malachi, was only given to us for uh, history lessons and to show us why we messed up and how we got into the situation we are in today. Time after time, you can see it all through the, um, through the book of the prophets, why we did it. And we continue to do the same thing over and over. It's a big reason why I'm going to YouTube because um, I've been on a lot of social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, da, da, da. Most people are just there to mislead us. A lot of people aren't even the bloodline of um, the Israelites. Some people think they are. Some people think they're not. I don't have all the answers. I can't tell you that I know for sure, but I want you to, um, to go check my work and then you go study for yourself because, you know what I'm saying, I don't want you to take my word for it. You need to go study for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Um, now the book of the law is 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 your life. You know what I'm saying? If you don't have the book of the law, you basically gonna just you know die in flames. You know what I'm saying? You might be living now, but I don't count that as life. You know what I'm saying? Life is knowing I can die and I'm gonna be good with the most high still. You know what I'm saying? Eternally. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what this life's gonna be like after we leave. So if you want to live all good and, oh, I'm in Babylon, I can do whatever I want, I, I, I'm making money, I'm, you know what I'm saying, I'm getting girls, or da, 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 but I believe in God, that ain't, that ain't doing nothing for you, bro. I swear, I, I, trust me, it's not doing nothing for you. So, just knowing how these, how they manipulated the book is the start of, every, of everything, and this is it right here. Um... What we're supposed to do as a nation, the nation of Israel, first and foremost, is return to the law. Yeah, a lot of people are going to say, oh, we can't return to the law. Oh, you can't do the law. You No, know, of course you can't do the law because we're in captivity. You know what I'm saying? You can do, you can try and do the law. All right, I, this, is, this is what I used to tell people. You ever had a test and a teacher told you and a, you had a question in the test that, Oh, we, you didn't know what it was about. The teacher never went over it. Da da da. And what did the teacher tell you? The teacher told you to do the test, to answer the question, and try your hardest. 
And if you get it wrong, hey, she, she might not count it. But if you get it right, you might get extra credit. Well, this is the same thing that's going on in captivity. The Most High wants us to return to the law. But at the same time, he knows we can't do everything. But he wants us to see that we're going to return to the law. You know what I'm saying? The Most High is not stupid. He does everything. He does everything in a genius way. He's the ultimate mastermind. Um, you want to understand why um, the, doc the doctrines, first of all, the doctrines that's flowing around around Israel are just ridiculous. Um, the doctrine can only come, the Most High only gives us doctrine through the law. First and foremost, doctrine only comes through the law. You can't get doctrine through the book of the prophets. You can't get doctrine through the New Testament. You can't get the doctrine from the book of Josephus or the book of Jubilees. Or none of that crap. You can't get it from there. Not, not from the Apocrypha, not from the book of Enoch. All that crap is not the law. You know what I'm saying? The, the doctrine is given through the law. You know what I'm saying? Just when the United, when the United States made the country up, when Japheth came in here, the quote-unquote European white man came in here, what did they do first? They created the Constitution. The country is supposed to abide by the Constitution. Does the country um, abide by the Constitution? For the most part, it kind of does, but it, it, there's a lot of places where it doesn't. You know what I'm saying? And that causes confusion. That's why you have, you know what I'm saying, the right side versus the left side, and, and A versus B, blue versus red, da, da, da. It's the same thing. It causes confusion. If you don't if you don't abide by your constitution, the book of the law, you're going to be a mess. And that's what the Most High has given us. He's given us the Torah so you can match everything up with Torah. Then you can see what's truth and what's fake. So this chart right here is basically telling you, um, this picture I got up here basically telling you, there's three books. One, two, three. New Testament, you just throw that out. I'll probably just cut Cut it out right now. You know what I'm saying? Just cut that thing out right now. I'm not going to get into it now. Basically, what I'm going to do throughout this channel is go through the whole, just basically the whole book. You know what I'm saying? Except for the New Testament. I'm going to start in Genesis. Every topic that, topic that people are kind of confused with, I'm going to go through it. Now, I don't have all the answers. I don't want you, I don't want anyone on here on this channel thinking, oh, I got the answers. Um, I don't consider myself the wisest man in the world. Um, I know there's a lot of people out there that hate me or don't like me. I really don't care. I don't care about nobody's feelings. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing this for I'm doing this for Yah, so he knows that I, at least I tried. You know what I'm saying? The Most High tells us to gather, gather yourselves, gather your people. And the only way that we got out of Egypt the first time is because we returned to Him. We didn't return to no congregation like IUIC or or GOCC, or some, um, or some congregation group trying to build something. Like, nah, man, we not, you know what I'm saying? The Most High said return to him, and he'll get us out of his captivity. You know what I'm saying? You read the book of uh, Nehemiah 9, it clearly outlines that. I'm not going to go over that now, but um, just some fact checks on uh, why, um, why the Torah is so important. The first five books, Genesis through Deuteronomy, is the rest of the, the rest of the Bible tells us this. There's so many scriptures telling us this, and I'm gonna go through just a couple. I'm not gonna bore your brains out, but the first one I'm gonna go over. Now we, I, like I told you, the doctrine can only come from the law. There's no doctrine given in the Old Testament, and there's no doctrine given in the New Testament. If you go to Psalms 19, now this is the Old Testament. This is not the Torah. Psalm 19, you can read, um, go down to verse verse 6, 7 and 8. His going forth is from the end of heaven, and his circuit unto the ends of it. And there is nothing hid from the heat thereof. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right. Rejoice in the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. So, you really got to show me where can you find the law, the statutes, and the commandments, and the testimony of Yah 
after the book of Deuteronomy. You can't do that. Everything after that is is man is words of men, and we know that. We know that um, the book of the prophets is all men, but we gotta we gotta take into account that the Most High still speaks in there. The Most High still says, "Thus saith the Lord." Thus saith Yah. It's all in there. Um, the book of the prophets, like I said, is just a, the history lessons and uh, um, showing us why we're in a position why we're in today, and prophecy on what's going to happen and what happened already, which is history. But of course, um, you can see, just based off this verse alone, this is Psalms 19. Now I'm going to go to um, Proverbs 4. Now Proverbs 4 is, this is basically talking about the doctrine. Hear ye children, the instruction of a father and attend to no understanding. For I give you good doctrine, Forsake ye not my law, for as, for as my father's son, tender and only beloved in the sight of my mother, he taught me also and said unto me, Let thine heart retain my words, keep my commandments, and live. Get wisdom, get understanding, forget it not, neither decline from the words of my mouth. So keep my commandments and live. Now you understand why Torah has to come first. You know what I'm saying? The Most High gave us doctrine in the Torah. You can't get doctrine from any other book. You know what I'm saying? This is why I named the channel Torah Over Life because you might life life to us is nothing. Life to us is walking down the street, uh, buying some food. You know what I'm saying? Going to sleep, waking up the other next day, getting the money, whatever. That might be life to you, but life to Yah is eternal life. What you gonna be doing when you die? You know what I'm saying? You gonna be burning up for the rest of your eternity, or you wanna live peacefully with Yah or whatever Yah has planned for us? So, Torah is basically the say all be all. Torah is number one. It's Yah only. Uh, I'm gonna get into why there's no other messiahs. The Most High never gave us anyone, and if he did, if he did send us anyone, that person. Um, for example, Moses, the Moses is only talking about the Most High. Moses didn't take any credit. You know what I'm saying? He didn't take any credit for anything. Joshua, he brought us into the um, into the homeland. He didn't take any credit. You know what I'm saying? No one's saying, oh, you gotta wait for this guy. You gotta wait for this. No, man. The Most High brought us out. And this is the this is a lot of the stuff that I'm gonna be going over on in this on this channel. Um, and the last verse I want to bring up. Just so you can get a sense of... Now, this is the book right after the Torah. This is Joshua 1. Like I said, the Torah only um, goes from Genesis to Deuteronomy. And Joshua has the first book right after the Torah. So if he has the first book right after the Torah, and you and you read, this is when Joshua and all of them was coming out of the wilderness, trying to get to the land. And we're going to start from verse 6. Be strong and of good courage, for unto his people shalt thou divide for an inheritance the land, which I swear unto your fathers to give them. Only be thou strong and very good, very courageous, that thou mayest observe, do according to the, all the law, which Moses my servant commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left, that they mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do it according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and they thou shalt have good success. So, <laughs> it's funny that these words are written right after the Torah, because after Joshua... You have all these prophets. Then you got New Testament with JC and all that stuff. You can you can say and believe what you want to believe, but these scriptures alone tell you what you have to be worried about. You don't. You know what I'm saying you, the Israelites living in the time of Joshua. How can you fault them for what any doctrines are made up afterwards? So you can't make up a doctrine a hundred years later when the Most High already told us after He made the Torah. 
what she's supposed to be doing. You know what I'm saying? That the instructions were given before any history of the Israelites. You know what I'm saying? Before we had our kingdom set up, before we got to the land, right before we got to the land, the Most High already made it clear what we're supposed to be doing. Now I can go on and on. Every book in the in the Old Testament is telling you what we're supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? There's plenty of scriptures telling us we're supposed to return to the Torah. Torah only. There's no JC in the Torah only. There's no man that we're supposed to be following in the Torah. None of that stuff. And the the, the Torah alone can survive on itself. You don't need no other book. Yeah, it's good to have the rest of the Old Testament. But if you didn't have anything, you can return to Yah with Torah only. So this is what I'm going to get into on this page. Again, if you don't like it, I really don't care. I'm going to be spitting my truth, what I know, what the Most High has revealed to me. I'm going to be getting into every topic you can even think of. So, um, I'll be here, you know what I'm saying, um, but that's all I had to say for now, and, um, Shavon, peace, family, hallelujah. The New Testament is opposite Yah, and Yah is not in it, period. Shalom.